Hey there and welcome to MyGrasp. Today I wanted to show you how you can really get the most out of your MyGrasp subscription by showing you how I can create all of my study material in just one sitting in just a few clicks. So I'm going to start by uploading all of my content that I really have to learn by today. Now the really cool thing about MyGrasp is that you can actually upload multiple documents and multiple files in just one go and it's also compatible with so many different file formats. So as you guys can see over here, I have one of my old projects, an exam review lecture, a lecture that I've missed that I really need to catch up on, as well as my entire textbook and my syllabus. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload all of these. And then once that's done processing, it's going to bring you over to this screen, which is your dashboard. So what I personally like to start off with is by asking it to give me a very short summary on all of the content that I've just uploaded. This is just to give me a very quick overview of what I can expect to study today. And then once I've read through these, I will go on to Smart Notes and ask it to generate detailed notes on all of my content. And there you have it. It just cross-referenced all of my resources and all the material that I gave it and gave me some really nicely structured, detailed notes on all of my content. Now, this is a process that used to take me like hours and hours and hours and end to do back in university, and it just did it for me in just a few seconds. Now, if we'd like to get through this a little bit faster, there's always a bionic reading feature over here that I really like because I find that it helps me comprehend information a little bit better. And if you're more of an auditory learner, there's always an audiobook feature over here. So it just generated an entire audiobook of all of the notes that it just gave me. So let's test that out. Enzymes and inhibition in metabolism. And what's really cool is that you can also alter the pace of the audiobook depending on your liking. Now, what I personally like to do is read through all the notes. And if there's anything that I don't really particularly understand, so let's say I'm reading through this and I'm not quite sure what, what my professor meant by competitive inhibitors, I can just easily go into the Q&A feature over here and say, can you explain competitive inhibitors using an analogy. And there we have it. There's also a really cool search the web feature that I really want to show you guys. So let's just say I'm curious about how is this actually useful in the real world. I want to know how all this theoretical stuff is applied practically in real life. So I'm just going to say, give me one real life application of competitive inhibitors in medicine. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to scrape the web and find me some real life applications or pieces of research where competitive inhibitors were used. And there we have it. So if we just scroll down, I can see that one real life application of what I'm learning over here has been used as a treatment for Alzheimer's disease. And what's even cooler is that it actually just provided me with the references or resources that has used to actually construct this answer over here. So if I'd like to read a little bit more about this, I can always just click on one of these resources. And this is one of the pieces of research that it used to give me that answer, which is always really cool. Now, once I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what the content is, what I like to do personally is go onto this little plus button over here, which gives you two bonus features that I find particularly helpful. And one of these is flashcards. So I'm going to ask it to automatically generate for me some flashcards based off of the content that I've just uploaded. And there we have it. So once I confirm that these look pretty accurate and it's exactly what I'd like to learn, I can confirm. And there we go. I can now work on retaining the knowledge that I've just spent the past 10 minutes learning. Now, once I'm done with this, I want to make sure that I've actually understood all the content and I want to test my understanding of it. So I'm going to go onto the plus button over here once again, and I'm going to go on to quizzes. Now it's going to ask me how many quiz questions would I like it to generate? I'm just going to go with around nine for now. And there we go. It just created for me a few quiz questions that I can actually test my understanding of the content that I've given it. And I personally find that these quiz questions are very, very similar to the type of questions that I'd actually get in a real life exam in class. And once I'm done answering all the quiz questions to the best of my knowledge, I'm going to press submit. And it just gave me a score of how I performed in that quiz. And I can always just retake the quiz or show the true answers or even ask it to generate me a new one.